From beta to sigma. From friendless to having lots of friends. From listening to Linkin Park in their room all day to going to Warp Tour to see Slipknot with their friends. This anime bottom tier attack character Tomozaki is like watching someone being reborn. Like from when Pantera went from glam metal to groove metal or when that load of friend decides to go talk to a girl and get her number. It's like that, but an anime form. Now, I went into this show fully expecting this to be a rom-com anime where the two main characters get together because they like games. And one of them just has to be like a higher social tier than the other. But I was completely wrong. By the way, before we get into this video, 96% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So please, subscribe to the channel this year so we can finally reach 1,000 subscribers. And also, please comment what your favourite video game is. Anyways, back to the video. So, we meet a character called Tomozaki, and he's a pro tac fan player, which is the anime's version of Super Smash Bros. And he's the best in Japan. But outside of that, he has no life, no bitches, and probably no money. His username is Nanashi, and he ends up facing against someone called No Name. And this match is like very, very intense. Like War Thunder 2 crew members left in your tank in level intense. Final duo in Fortnite level intense. Last bit of toilet roll level intense. He ends up winning, and then gets a message from, the, from No Name asking if they can meet up. And they do! And when the two gamers finally meet up, they find out they actually knew each other beforehand. In fact, they are literally classmates. But Aoi, aka No Name, is very much disappointed at Tomozaki because he didn't exactly dress well for the occasion and then begins to absolutely rip into him. You're such a beta male, that is horrifying. Hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm a Reddit Gold user. First of all, your Jordans are completely fake. Secondly, you have absolutely no maidens. And finally, you haven't even thought about buying Spotify Premium. Now just in case you couldn't tell, Aoi does not like Tomozaki very much. And after Tomozaki goes on a rant about how much life sucks, she ends up calling him not a real gamer, which is the biggest insult to any gamer in history. And then she decides that she's going to help Tomozaki become normal. But there's one problem, Tomozaki is a gamer and he doesn't really understand real life or how to do that shit. So, she basically just gives him daily quests to try and help him become better. And then one big, big goal, which is get a girlfriend by the end of the third year of high school, which is for, for a gamer is impossible, and especially a Smash player. The first goal that she gives him is to talk at least to three girls at school. And now, as a professional War Thunder player, talking to girls is one of the scariest things that I've ever done. And she wants Tomozaki to talk to at least three of them. And Tomozaki is a Smash player. Let's arrange the funeral now. So, that's pretty much how this anime is laid out. Tomozaki is given something to do. He, he tries to do it throughout the episode. And then he encounters problems along the way. Pretty simple, right? Well, some people out there may think, Oh, wow, that's just incredibly boring. I'll probably just go watch Demon Slayer Season 3 instead. What makes this anime very entertaining to watch is watching Tomozaki learn how to do things. Like, for example, learn how to talk to women and also talk to other people. And you're seeing him mess up things like, you know, messing up different social cues like blowing your nose in front of someone or accidentally smiling in front of someone at the wrong time. You get the point, like, watching him progress is the entertainment. For example, at the beginning of the anime, he does not talk to anybody in his class unless it's probably absolutely necessary. By the end of it, he's speaking to loads of people. And then also, throughout the anime, he gets hair gel so he learns to style his hair. He also gets a haircut as well. He uh, fixes his posture. He starts speaking with more confidence. All these things I have not done at all. And then later on in the anime, he actually gets to go out on a date with a girl. Which is one something I have never done ever because I'm too busy playing War Thunder. In the opening of the anime, Tomozaki absolutely thrashes some popular kid at Smash. And then eventually, later on in the anime, that guy challenges him once again. And then we witness Tomozaki absolutely beating the shit out of him in every single match. And he keeps asking for rematches constantly. But then, this bitch called Erika just shows up and dares to insult gaming and this guy's effort to try and beat Tomozaki. So, Tomozaki absolutely rips into her verbally, and then she fucks off. I hate when idiots who don't know how to do anything mock other people's hard work! What I hate most is people like you! One thing I find incredibly interesting about this anime is the relationship between Aoi and Tomozaki. Because at the beginning of the anime, Tomozaki is basically just following everything that Aoi do tells, tells him to do. How to dress, how to act, how to talk, how to do everything pretty much to the nail. But then towards the end of the anime, 
the first season at least, he begins to start doubting her methods and starts doing his stuff his own way, but still using the lessons that he learned from Aoi of how to be good. Which then marks kind of a breaking point between the two as both of their methods begin to clash, and then they kind of have an argument about it and then proceed to go their own ways. For a, a whole one episode! And then suddenly it's back to normal again. Well, I say back to normal. It's kind of, they kind of take a different approach with it where like there is some leniency now. But yeah, pretty much back to normal. This also made me question Aoi as a character because unlike most people, she takes a very systematic approach to the way that she does things. Whether that be relationships, sports, Tomazaki. It, it's all very, this thing is going, is the thing I want to happen. I'm going to do this thing, which is going to lead to the thing is going to, that is going to happen. You get it? I don't either, but whatever. But I'm no doctor, right? But I think there may be something wrong with her. Probably. I don't know. Consult a medical person. I don't know any doctors. Unlike the third season of Demon Slayer, this anime was actually really fun to watch and actually kept me engaged. And overall, I think it was definitely an 8 out of 10. Nothing bad about this anime. The dub was actually really good as well. Now, if you guys are real gamers, make sure to watch this video here where I talk about the anime gamers. Anyways, see you a lot later.